let me start by telling you that um, I'm very pleased with uh, the results of the discussions we had uh, uh, today here in, Mor in Moritzburg. We focused on uh, the pressing migration and security challenges which we all currently face. I believe that uh, we made another important step for, toward developing a joint European approach on migration. Our intense discussions, which uh, focused on the actions including, included in the European agenda of migration and on the first implementation package presented by the Commission last week, identified many points of convergence as well as points that require further discussion. Our priorities are clear and coherent. We are reinforcing our joint action against smugglers. We are empowering the meaning of the term solidarity by helping member states that stand in the first line of the crisis. We support a European policy of return for those economic irregular migrants that have no right to stay in the Union. We are determined to back programs like Triton and Poseidon that uh, save lives. We seek to address the root causes of migration as well as build centers in third countries like the one in Niger. The meeting showed a clear agreement on the need for solidarity and uh, responsibility, at the same time on the importance to respect rules and avoid abuses. The point that uh, requires further discussion is, as you know, the resettlement and relocation schemes and the distribution key used to determine the extent of responsibility sharing for each member state. I would like to point out that the proposed resettlement of 20,000 refugees from third countries and the relocation of 40,000 asylum seekers throughout the European Union is quite reasonable, especially when we consider that just in the last few days over 6,000 migrants arrived in the European Union. So, when we discuss migration issues, we must not lose sight of the larger of the bigger picture. The discussions will uh, keep going on for the days to come. And I hope that uh, in two weeks from now, at the Home Affairs in Luxembourg, we will be able to make another step towards a genuine European policy on migration. To move fast, to move united, to produce results. This is what we have to do. Regarding security, fighting terrorism remains a priority for all of us, including the United States, who joined us yesterday evening. For the European Union, the European agenda on security should be the basis for dealing with terrorism, organized crime, and cyber security. We all agree that uh, intensifying our common efforts will be essential to ensure the safety of our citizens. The Internet has become a new recruiting ground for terrorist groups and a channel that uh, spreads their extremist views. Enhancing our counter-terrorist efforts online is therefore crucial. I explained to the ministers my intention 
to develop cooperation with the internet industry in order to reduce accessibility to terrorist material and propaganda and also to fight cybercrime. Now, regarding cybercrime, strong Euro-American relations offer a solid political framework for concrete actions. Tomorrow, in uh, Latvia, in Riga, at the dedicated European Union United States meeting, I will have the opportunity to further discuss with uh, my American counterparts the strengthening of cooperation on security and other issues of common concern. I would like also to finish with a comment I'm sure you would like to ask me. I want to tell you that uh, we welcome uh, France and Germans and uh, Germans' uh, uh, proposals presented by the Commission in the European Agenda on Migration. I fully agree with the content of this statement. Indeed, the agenda includes a set of measures which, uh, as highlighted by France and Germany, are designed to ensure a better sharing of responsibility and solidarity within the Union to manage the exceptional increase of the flow of migrants in the Mediterranean. So, these are the news for today, and if you come with me to Riga, you will have more tomorrow. Thank you very much for your Thank attention. You,